Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're doing a September budget closeout and a quarter savings update. So without further ado, uh, let's go. So guys, this is kind of two videos in one because I realized it would just take like it would make no sense that I do this a Curter savings update and then a, another video right after that but it's fine we're gonna be multitaskers today and get a lot of things done so let's start with my usual part uh, which is balances so at the end of the month I count all of the balances in all of my binders and we see what the progress was what was the change and then we also count the total so let me grab a pen and let's start with clothing and clothing has 50 115 so i did a cash condensing video recently so my envelopes are nice and thin so it's easy to count so it had clothing had 110 at the beginning so it's a minus five euro different health let's see we have 50, 150, 210 in dentist plus in therapy we have 50, 100, 150, 200, 22, 40 plus in physio we have a 20 plus in medicine we have 20 and 40 plus in miscellaneous we have one and two so the total is 512 and that's a negative 33 euro difference beauty is next it had 360 at the beginning of the month it's definitely less because i had a laser appointment appointment nails has five plus laser has 50 100 110 115 plus what we have in hair, hair has 20 and 40, plus facials have 20, 45, plus what we have in products, which is a 20. So in total, we have 225, and that's a negative 135 difference. Next is travel. And travel has, let's see, 500, 520, 530, 535. And it had 530, but I did spend during the month. So it kind of evened out. Oh, Jesus, I broke this. Mm, that's positive five difference. And why did I break this? Oh my God. How will I fix it? Okay, I'll fix it off camera. I'll put it here so I don't lose it. Gifts is next and gifts have 50, 100, 150, 200, 210. That's a positive, I believe 30 difference. Yes, 30. So that's that. Next is rollover, but I don't count this because I use it for my cash envelopes and it's just kind of repetitive. And then uh, fun only has money in autumn and it has 20, 20, one and 22 and we spent a lot in here so it's a negative 39 no 29 difference i think 21 minus 60 no 39 okay i was correct i still know how to count in my head guys so that's all for this binder let's check out my uh, long-term thinking funds binder so car is first and it has 101 so we spend from this so it's negative nine difference and i should update my trackers so as it is now here less than it was i need to uh, have a remover wipe i need to go get that because this is like not it doesn't smudge for you i don't remove it with an alcohol wipe so i'm gonna go grab that really quickly and then i'll be back Okay, so I went and got the alcohol wipe and I wiped uh, half of the car off because we have 101 and this is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So now it represents the actual amount. That's what happens when you use kind of like laminated, you get to erase and add again. Uh, but if the savings tracker is not laminated, then it's a bit tricky. <laughs> how to do it or just don't spend from those envelopes then next is home and home has 110 and 15 so it's a positive five difference and we still can't cross uh, color in another car 
not car, house. <laughs> and we will probably at the end of next month. Emergency is next and it has 1,000, 1,500, 700, 800, and 820. So 1,820, which is a 20 difference. And we can't color in another piggy bank because we still don't have the amount which would represent another piggy bank. But we will soon. Next savings had zero at the beginning of the month because it was a new envelope. So now it has 10, 15, and 16. Great. Then a 16 euro change, a positive. And then retirement is another one where we can color in the tracker and i'm so excited to see what the progress is so we have 200 400 420 425 and that's a positive three oh geez 425 minus 380 positive 45 euros okay and now let's color in let's take a red and one line is 17 and we have 425 in total that means we should have 25 lines colored in. Is that correct? Delete. Yes. Okay. And I had little notes here to see which line is which. So this is 25. So I'm coloring in until that one. And then we technically only have 75 euros to go to hit our goal for the year, which is insane. And this is September. So I'm very happy for that that's retirement this is exciting okay stocks hasn't changed it's still fully funded so the change is uh the ending balance is 100 so the change is zero next is pets and we have let's check 100 110 111 12, 13, and 14. So 114, which is a plus four euro difference. We can't color in another tracker, but we might be able to next time. And next we have technology. And technology now has 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, which is a positive six difference. We don't have a tracker here, so we don't have anything to color in. Weddings is next, and it has. 110, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Also a plus four. And we also can't color in another uh, icon because it's 100 euros. One heart is 100 euros. We don't have enough for the next one. And then babies has 110, 11, 12, 13, and 14 as well. And that's also a plus four difference. And we can't color in another uh, stroller too because we don't have enough yet, but we will definitely soon. Okay, next binder, we moving on to our savings and miscellaneous portion. Christmas is still fully funded and still has 500 euros, so the change is zero. Etsy, we did some damage this month. I bought a bunch of stuff that I plan to sell on my Etsy shop. Keep your eyes and ears out for that. But it has now 50 and 70, and it had 130 at the beginning of the month. So that's a 60, I believe, minus negative 60, yes. Change. Next is charity and it has now a 20, so that's minus 10. I did spend some money, oh no, geez. Um, I spent some money during the month for charity. I donated to a children's charity, so that's here it's a negative but it's technically not a negative because i feel like i did a good job and then tattoos and piercings has 50 and 70 and then it had a 60 at the beginning of the month so that's a positive 10 nice great we are surely no slowly but surely moving on to the next and this is let me move like this uh, my A5 binder, we are starting with Monday to Friday, which is my savings challenge for every day of the week. And now it has 50, 100, 50, 200, 250, 300, 350, 370, 371, and 372. So let's check the amount of change. 118 euros positive. Insane. I'm so excited to restart this money once I'm done with this challenge. 
we can feed it back into my sinking funds and then 30 for 30 is next it had 630 at the beginning of the month and now it has let's check and we will fill in our trackers as well 500 700 710 and 715 so that's a positive 85 euro difference great and we can take out the trackers and color in and see once again the graph so let's see we have two trackers in here and if you're new here and you don't know what this challenge is it's me saving 30,000 euros before my 30th birthday which is in six years now <laughs> with this tempo i won't make it but still <laughs> okay so we have 715 one line represents 44 which means we need 16 and a quarter lines colored in which is here and a bit over so we're col coloring in two full lines today which is great progress and then we're writing down that this is oh, september and then the other one we are coloring in let's see we have 715 which is a bit like here i think 715 and we can color all of that in with red and we see a little jump which is always good to see that you've made progress so these are the trackers for 30 for 30. so there's that and the final envelope we have is subscriptions. We have three categories in here. I do believe we only uh, stuffed one, which is the credit card. And indeed, we only have five and we have nothing in Spotify and nothing in deodorant. Spotify, I've already paid for this year. So I think I'll only start saving up next year for 2200, uh, 2023. So yeah, for now, it's only a five euro change. And then the last envelope is buffer, which is in my cash envelopes. I did spend quite a lot from here. So maybe it might have been more but last week i went overboard and we only have 20 left in here it's a new envelope so it had uh, zero at the beginning of the month that's a positive 20 change great so now let's count all of the totals and we'll see the grand total and the progress for that and then we can update our quarter savings challenge is it a challenge like just a graph i guess and let me quickly calculate all of the amounts 186 and last page 70 372 715 5 and 20. so the total is 600 uh, 6285 which is a bit less than we had at the beginning of the month but with all of the spending i've had i'm not surprised so it's only a minus 14 euro difference but still it's i mean it's good that we didn't go like minus three thousand but still it's that's the change that's the total and let's update now quarter three so we have ended september and we can now update this uh segment of the chart and yeah i don't remember what my what my tactic was actually oh so here i wrote which categories i don't count in here so short term sinking funds i count everything except uh rollover so let's look at our balances and we will see what um that is so clothing 105 health beauty travel gifts and fun all of those are in short term sinking funds that's the total of 1608 euros and then i think i did change from quarter one and change from quarter two i think it was change from quarter one and change from quarter two okay so one six oh minus the total in quarter one was 874 so it's a positive change of 734 euros from quarter one and uh, from quarter two, the total was 1,131. So the change is a positive 477 in short term sinking funds. Great. Long term sinking funds, it's everything that we have in our long term sinking funds envelope, which is car, home, emergency, 
Is emergency? Because here I counted it in savings. Let's count this in savings. So I will write no emergency. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, guys. Like if this makes no sense to you, trust me, it doesn't make sense to me too. Because I did this in th three months ago and I don't understand what I did here. It's like I'm teaching myself my own logic. But okay, so 101, 115. We're not counting emergency because that's savings. Then this stocks pets, technology, weddings, and babies. And that's 1,185 in long-term sinking funds, 1,185. And then once again, we're doing change from quarter one and then quarter two. So it was in quarter one, in long-term sinking funds, we had 1,160. So it's a positive change of 25. And from quarter two, we had 681 so it's a positive 504 euro difference which is a good difference i believe so miscellaneous here i have written christmas etsy tattoos and charity so that's what we are going to count as miscellaneous so christmas 500 etsy 70 charity 20 plus 70 in tattoos so that's 660 in the category miscellaneous and then once again, uh, change from quarter one and change from quarter two. So in quarter one, we had 110, which is a positive 550 difference. And in quarter two, we had 479, which is a positive 181 difference. Okay. And then savings is everything that was like rest rest i have literally written rest which means i guess all the other categories i had so on this page we didn't do okay here we did everything so we didn't add emergency plus monday to friday plus 30 for 30 plus subscriptions plus i guess buffer is kind of technically um, 2,932 in category savings, 2,932, uh, and then change from quarter one. This is the first time I do this update after my world trip. So this amount is definitely going to go down because in my world trip, I had 11,000 at one point. So my grand total revealed that, but let's see the change from, um, uh, quarter one, we've had 7,000. 287 euros so it's a negative 4355 and then from quarter two it was 8850 so it's a negative 5918 euro difference okay so that's kind of the layout and then at the end of december which is the last quarter of the year we're going to fill in these and then we're going to calculate the differences between the beginning of the year and then the, at the end of the year and then change and change in percentage and the total now for quarter three let's count so 1608 plus 1185 plus 2932 plus 660 the total is now 6385 and then we can see that change from quarter two how did what did i count here and quarter change from quarter one change from quarter two okay so uh 6385 minus what we had in first quarter it's a minus 3,046 euro difference and then from quarter two it's going to be an even bigger difference because we had 11,000 in quarter two that's a minus 4,756 euro difference so big changes big changes but still this is positive I'm happy for whatever I've managed to save honestly and I'm just glad and also when I was saving for the past year for the trip that I had I knew that I'm gonna spend that money and like I consciously made that decision so it's not like just suddenly disappeared so yeah this is what the quarter savings looks like right now and i'm very excited to fill in and to see what the progress was throughout the year and the patterns and the changes 
and everything. So now at the end of the video, at the end of each uh, monthly closeout, we update my subscriber tracker. This is always kind of my little intermission to tell you thank you, to welcome all new members. Hi, welcome, thank you for joining. I hope you decide to stay for a while. We have fun here. We talk about finances, budgeting and everything. And yeah, today uh, we have an update that I, at the moment of filming, I have 463 followers, subscribers, sorry. So it's like this much we can color in three full squares and then a little of this and a little of it that. So this is the progress for the month of September. I'm always so glad to see the progress. It just allows me to see how far I've come and that when I started my channel last year, I never thought I'm gonna even get this far. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who subscribes, who comments, who likes. It really helps me. And I did, I do this for fun. I honestly started this channel just so I can kind of inspire people to also take care of their finances. And yeah, this budgeting method has literally changed my life. It changed my perspective on how I view money, finances, budgeting. And yeah, so I just hope that I, with my channel, I can even give you like a smidge of what I've learned. So hopefully I've managed to do that. If not, I'm sorry, I'm gonna try harder. But yeah, that was the end of this video. It's another month gone, another budgeting month gone. I am super excited for, I believe tomorrow's video, which is the October budget with me. Stay tuned for that. I have very exciting news to share with you. But yeah, for now, that's all. I wish you a very wonderful day. And yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye.